Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Volkswagen Golf GTI Autobahn manual in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, you will find the TSI turbocharged 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. It is a 6 speed manual transmission. Gets up to 228 horsepower, 258 pound foot of torque. Up front, you've got your LED headlights, customer data running lights, fog lights down below. You've got that red highlighting that runs the whole way through the front end there. All the way across the front, you also have your front parking sensors, and then you have your little GTI badge on the left-hand corner there. On to the side, we've got 18-inch alloy wheels, another GTI badge on the front end on both sides. Then side mirrors include integrated turn signals, and then you have blind spot monitoring as well. On both your front handles, you'll find this little dimple. We'll talk about him a little bit more on your driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting. Approaching the back, you've got backup parking sensors that wrap the whole way across the rear end there. Left-hand side, again, you've got your GTI badge. And then we do have backup camera back here as well. To open up your rear space, reach in, press in the top of the logo, and lift upwards. So inside here, first off, we have that interior cargo cover that is typical with hatches. It is simply attached up to the roof using this cord that sits on this little peg. This is on both sides, which means that if you don't want this piece to be moving up and down with the hatch, you can just take it off of the little pegs and it will sit flat across the back in a shelf style instead. The whole purpose of the piece back here is to help protect any goods you keep stored in the back so that people can't so easily look in through your rear windows and see what you have stored in here. Of course, if you want to, you can easily fully remove this piece as this is also just sitting on a couple of pegs in the back there. Across the back, we also have the Golf branded rubber matte cargo liner. Covers all the back of the rear floor space. Has two purposes. First off, helps protect your vehicle from damage from your cargo. Secondly, helps to keep the vehicle nice and clean. It's much easier to simply pick up and remove this guy out of the back and shake or rinse off any dirt or debris versus the clinging to the typical carpeted interior. Looking forward now, you'll find that your second row seating has a 60-40 split on the left-hand side here, which allows these two sides to function independently. Middle section is also able to be folded down separately from the rest of it if you're wanting to stick something all the way through for cargo purposes, most likely. In each one of the four corners, you'll find these little silver tie-down hooks you can use to further secure your cargo. On the right, you also have a 12-volt adapter, and you'll have your interior lighting, too. If you're looking for your tire kit, Looking down underneath of this mat, you'll find this little handle. Lift this guy upwards, and everything you need will be stored right underneath there. To close it up back here, you can reach up to the handles on either side. They're simply tucked in underneath. So reach in, pull down, back into its starting position. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So inside, your interior upholstery is the black leather with red stitching, giving contrast very similar to what you find outside of the unit. Up top, you also have your handle releases for if you're wanting to lay the seats down flat. Simply give that a pull on either side and it will lay your seat down flat for you. In the middle, you have access to this folding down armrest slash cup holder. This guy can easily fold away. You also have handle access inside of here if you want to push this middle section in, as we said before, for extending cargo space forward simply through this little middle section here. Now, looking forward, on the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, you've got a little bit of pouch storage. Back of the console, you've got your air vents, and currently we have the Golf rubber mats installed in this unit. You've got your storage space in your rear door, as well as your power window control. Now, back to this little dimple. This little guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand on the handle to lock or unlock your unit. Inside, you've got your power windows for both front and back down below, including your window lock. Up top next to your handle is your power lock system and side mirror controls, including the heating control. You just twist it all the way down, and it will heat up your side mirrors to get any frozen or snow items off of there. Inside, you have power adjustable front seating, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. Hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, you've got a little storage compartment in here. Then you got the controls for your headlamps and your dash brightness. Taking a look at the steering wheel, much like the seats, it is black leather with red stitching. You also have your little GTI symbol at the bottom and the flat base. Then left-hand side is everything for your adaptive cruise control and your volume. Right-hand side, 
The bottom here is your radio controls, and then up top is the controls for your dash display. You also have your odometer chip reset right in the middle underneath your screen. Up top, you've got your four ways, and then you have your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. We're looking at the menu right now, and here you have all of your adjustments, everything from radio and media, navigation, vehicle, traffic. You have your climate control display, which is pretty cool to take a look at. Different elements will light up here in different colors, showing you exactly what's going on. You also have your options for sync on off. Then underneath the car, you have your lap timer, as well as having your performance monitor. You have some other sections you can also access here. So sport, energy consuming, you have your data drive, Think Blue Trainer and Vehicle Status. You also have your media inside of here. Then up top, you have your app. This is where you would connect for your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and then there's a mirror link there as well. Top right corner is your navigation, fully built in and touch sensitive for ease of use. Top left corner is your radio settings. This is where you have access to your AM, FM, and satellite radio. Full Bluetooth connectivity, as you saw, includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then you have your media. So this is things you would connect to externally. So you have your CD player, which is located inside of the glove box. If you got the, the sky open, you'll see it right up top there. Then you also have SD cards, navigation, USB, and you can connect through Bluetooth in the media section there as well. Under there is the phone, so specifically for connecting via Bluetooth to the vehicle with your personal device. And at the bottom is your voice, so this is everything for hands-free communication. As you can see, there are lots of different prompts you can easily use to get ease of use out of this. Underneath is the climate control center itself. So dual climate control up front, you can either have your temperature synced up or you can turn off that sync as we saw in the climate display itself. It also exists on the right hand corner. So you can either have your temperatures the same or give you the freedom to change them independently. On either side, you also have three levels for heated seat controls, defrost for your front and rear windshield here. Underneath, you have this little storage compartment that pops open. Little storage in there, you have a little rubberized liner to keep things secure, and you have your charger adapters on the right-hand side. Then underneath is your push start ignition, this little silver. Hard to see, but it does say start on it. You can see it has this backlighting too. Driving modes, traction control, you have your parking assist and parking brakes. Then you have the golf ball styled gear shift there. Behind 12 volt adapter, you have your parking brake and cup holders. All the way at the back is the console space, opens up, you got a little bit of storage inside there. Right hand side, as you saw, we've got the glove box, you've got your CD player inside there. Up overhead is where you've got overhead lighting controls, sunglasses compartment, and controls for the roof. Thanks again folks for joining us on this full video tour for this Volkswagen Golf GTI Autobahn manual in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.